Good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock nightly news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Duporto. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gurebiya Palace His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. Their Royal Highnesses discussed the development march of the Kingdom adopted by the government, especially with regards to the economy and investment. They stressed the importance of continuing economic development and benefiting from past experiences by enhancing procedures and legislation. They also highlighted the facilities provided to the business and investment sectors under the framework of the open market policy and affirmed that the Bahraini market is able to attract more international investment thanks to strong economic, investment and legislative infrastructure and the government's keenness to further develop the investment sector. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gurebiya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Premier congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa on the 20th anniversary of the establishment of the National Guard. He attributed the success of this establishment to the support of His Majesty the King. He commended the role of the National Guard's commander and affiliates in maintaining security and stability and preserving national achievements. He added that the National Guard serves as a security shield to the national institutions that aim to maintain the Kingdom's security and stability. His Royal Highness emphasised the importance of an effective administration in boosting the level of services provided by various government sectors. He urged expertise and competency and denounced negligence, adding that it is unacceptable for such acts to affect the level and quality of services. His Royal Highness directed officials to investigate and deal firmly with administrative negligence in medical errors with reference to the recent deaths of two children. He appointed the Minister of Health to file an urgent report on the level of medical services provided by the Ministry's medical facilities with suggestions for remedies to detected problems. The Prime Minister also directed all ministries and governmental authorities to cooperate with the Ministry of Information Affairs to attend to issues voiced by citizens through social media. He directed that payment of compensation for expropriation be expedited within his follow-up of the measures taken by the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning in line with the Cabinet's decision issued last August in this regard. The Cabinet approved introducing a new system for issuing taxi practice licences for companies and institutions. The system also sets certain conditions and features for licensed vehicles. The Cabinet referred a proposal to the Coordinating Committee regarding the licences of foreign capital companies that have contracts with governmental bodies or, and agencies or those that implement strategic projects with the partnership of Bahrainis. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed that more job opportunities for Bahrainis be offered with priority given in the recruitment process. The Cabinet hailed the Bahrain economy's ability to attract new investment, noting the 7.3% increase in the total rate of employment, reaching 770,000, in addition to an increase in the average of wages and salaries in both the public and private sectors. In a ceremony held under the patronage of the United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, at the Dubai World Trade Center, 
The Bahraini Royal Endurance Team won the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Creative Sports Award for the Best Arab Team. They received the award because of their victory in the 2015 World Endurance Championship for young riders and juniors in Chile. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of the Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received the award from Dubai's Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The ceremony was attended by the Chairman of the UAE Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, FIFA Vice President for Asia, Prince Ali ibn Al Hussein, and a number of officials. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the endurance team's victory is the result of the support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to the sports sector in Bahrain. He also expressed his pleasure for receiving the award in Dubai, which is considered to be a home for creativity and innovation under the support and patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,206.4 points, marking a decrease of 3.36 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment, services, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 63.98% of total shares. 155 transactions included 11,119,904 shares worth 1,548,200 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 